from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd let my good friend from Maryland know that I like him too. Uh, and I would, I would certainly clarify the remarks on Putin. Look, I'll denounce Putin right now. Remember, I was the one calling in the beginning of this conflict for a no-fly zone to be established led by the United States. I don't think there's anybody more hawkish on Russia and the Ukraine issue than myself on this side of the aisle. So to say that I was up here defending Putin is ludicrous. We, of course, need to defeat Putin. We should have been much more engaged from the beginning of this conflict, not just to send a message to the Russians, but to send a message to the Iranians and a message to the Chinese vis-a-vis -vis Taiwan. But I could go on. So I would say it's a total mischaracterization of my position to say that I'm up here saying good things about dictator Putin. But I remind my friend from Maryland uh, about the history of this building. In 1814, it was literally burned to the ground. Uh, in the 70s, Puerto Rican separatists stormed in, detonated a bomb. Uh, so let's just get historical context in place. And as far as denouncing violence, Everyone on this side of the aisle has denounced political violence consistently. The inconsistency is from my friends from across the other side of the aisle who cherry pick when they denounce political violence. I remember that during the entire summer of 2020, my friends across the aisle uh, treating the, the destructive BLM and Antifa protests that caused $2 billion dollars worth of damage. They treated those protesters with kid gloves. You had the current vice president paying the bail for the protesters. You had the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez saying, and I quote, the whole point of protesting is to make people feel uncomfortable. To folks who complain protest demands make others uncomfortable, that's the point. Those are the words of the Democrats, not of us. We can go on, Chris Como, CNN host. Please show me where it says protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Last time I checked, that was a Democrat. New York BLM co-founder, Hawk Newsom, said in response to Eric Adams trying to put plainclothes police officers on the street, he said, and I quote, there will be riots, there will be fire, and there will be bloodshed. It sounds to me that the political violence and the support for the rhetoric, the rhetoric that's coming to support political violence and upheaval is coming from one side of the aisle, the Democrat side of the aisle. For more rebuttal, I yield to my good friend, 